resigning on my own is essentially admitting that I must take responsibility for the data leak. I won't admit to something I didn't do. This is your employment contract. It expires on the 30th of this month. Take a look. HR promised you N plus 3 severance pay, but you've been dragging your feet and refusing to resign. Once the contract expires, ARC will definitely not renew it with you. Forget about the N plus 3 severance pay. You won't even get your full salary for this month. I don't want to leave. Whether you want to or not isn't up to you. The game is over. Given your current situation, it's best to cut your losses. Do you really want us to both suffer? There's never a case where both sides lose. From what I know about Mr. Wei, the only one who would suffer is me. You're exaggerating. In the end, you're leaving. Let's keep it civil and give each other some dignity so we can face each other in the future without embarrassment, don't you think? In this situation, I can't lose my job. So I've applied M plus three for you. This will give you enough time to find another good job. I've been at ARC for so many years. Can I get another chance? It's too late. Miss Zhang. The Serene Camellia. Suddenly, grew sharp thorns. Even if it remains beautiful, no one will appreciate it. People don't always get chances. You have to pay the price for your mistakes. The severance pay is the last favor I'm giving you. Complete the handover within a week and leave Ark. severance pay is the last favor I'm giving you. Within a week, complete the handover and leave Ark. is giving me one week to resign. I can't stall any longer. What should I do? The house is only half renovated. Send the money quickly. Let me think. Your mom made a few of your favorite dishes. We're going to the library anyway. We can bring them to you on the way. Dad, it's not necessary. I'll call a flash delivery to pick them up. Lin Shuang, is the cake ready yet? It's ready. Lin Shuang, what are we eating tonight? Your mom got up early to buy groceries and cook. She misses you. We'll eat together when we get there tonight. I am coming. Have you lost your mind? What are you doing? Oh, I've had colleagues pack your stuff up for you. You won't have to bother doing it yourself.
forget to bring an umbrella. Can I share yours? Here, take the umbrella. Huh? It's yours now. Sir, thank you so much. The umbrella is yours. Work hard. You're crazy. What's in it for you to ruin my life? It's over between us. Miss, are you the one who booked the chauffeur service? Your chauffeur, He Mingbo, at your service. Please put on your safety helmet, and we'll be on our way. I don't need this. Safety first. Here, let me help you. Does it fit well? <laughs> Lift your head. Get on. Once we fasten our seatbelts, we'll be on our way. Seatbelts? Give me your hand. Another one. Chauffeured ride, starting now. Sit tight and hold on. You stepped on my foot. Sorry. Time for cake! Time for cake. The cake's here, come on. Dad, Mom, my parents will come to visit me later. Then let's have dinner together tonight. They might be here already. The cake's here. So soon? Wei Guoqiang! How can you just walk into someone's house? What are you doing? Ask him yourself! Wei Guoqiang! Mom! Don't think you can hide. In your son's home and we won't find you. You have to repay the money you owe. Give me another two days, please. Waiting for those two stocks to... <laughs> You're waiting to make a little profit. Get out of your stock bind and strike it rich, right? Blocking our way to wealth. And you still dream of getting rich? Did you get shot in the head or something? You old man? It's all your fault. You said there was insider information, that there was an asset restructure and to go all in. You lost your mind, and borrowed at a high interest rate. You've gone nuts! All right, it was supposed to be a sure bet. Who could have known the asset restructuring would go south? We're completely trapped. Fine! Stop this charade of crying poor in front of me. Pay back the money! Pay it back! Huh? Where's your son? Lin Shuang! Lin Shuang! Lin Shuang, come quick! All the money your dad and I had is trapped in the stock market. We can't access any of it. Please, can you get some money to help us out? Mom, give me a moment. I'll call Wei Ming. <laughs> Lin Shuang, Lin Shuang! Don't you dare call him! If he finds out, he'll berate me to death. Lin Shuang, here's the thing. You can rest assured, considering this money, as a loan from us. Once we're back on our feet, we'll pay you back right away, right? Ah! Enough with the procrastination! You have to repay what you owe. Look at this, look at you! Living in big house, but you can't pay this little debt? Shameless! Sour-faced. No one want to see that. We are the creditors. Poor us. Hurry up and repay. Lin Shuang, think of a solution. How about, could you both leave my house? If not, I'm calling the police. Then call the police! Fine! You have to pay your debt anyway. We need police. It's our dirty laundry. The debt of the father are paid for by the son. If not, daughter-in-law pay it. What does this have to do with me? Lin Shuang. Dad. The in-laws are here. Mother-in-law. What's going on? This old man owes us money. She doesn't want to pay it back. Maybe you can help? What's going on? Nothing, Mom. Come on, someone has to pay this money today. We can work something out. What are you doing? Back off! Don't get physical. You want the debt, or rob us. Pay the debt! Even if you want it, we... Dad, Dad! Dad! Dad, what happened? Lin Shuang, 
In-law, quick, call for help. Give me the phone. Grandpa. Hello, emergency center? You better stop playing games. Pay back the money. Don't touch me. I'll pay. You okay? I'm fine. I'll ride slower. Okay. Hold on tight. What? I'll ride slower. You have to hold on tight. All right. Doctor? Oh, uh... The ECG and CT scans are both normal. His blood pressure is stable. It's likely he had transient cerebral hypoxia due to getting too emotional. Currently, there's no major problem. Keep an eye on him after going back and pay more attention to his emotional changes. Try to comfort him more. Once people age, they can't handle too much stress. Got it. Thank you, doctor. Besides... He's in recovery now. He needs to lie quiet for a while. Please don't disturb him for now. Mom, I, I'm going to buy a bottle of water. You all right? Not good. My dad is in the hospital. Nurse, excuse me? The neurology department is this way, right? Yes, this way. Okay, thank you. Lin, how's your dad doing? It's nothing serious. He can go home after the IV is done. All right. Look at you. Why did you agree so readily to pay back the debt for Wei Ming's father? I don't want things to get dramatic. But you know, they must have taken you for granted, knowing you're principled, and like to maintain dignity. So they staged this drama just to make you hand over the money. You've worked hard for so long. Wasn't it to secure more marital property? What can I do then? And about uncle and auntie's situation, it's the same. If you had told them earlier, let them be prepared. It wouldn't have come to this. Look, now uncle is in the hospital. So, I should blame myself for all of it? So my dad falling ill is also my fault? No, that's not what I meant. Jiang Xi, I appreciate your concern, but could you please not impose your principles on me? I just want to remind you that there's something wrong with your logic and handling things. I didn't mean anything else. I have problems? Then when did my life start to go wrong? Since the day you found out, Wei Ming was cheating on you. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's all on me. I shouldn't have come. I'm sorry.
Am I really that terrible? Never mind. I won't ask you. From childhood till now, you've never spoken highly of me. If I really asked you and gave you the chance, you'd tear me apart, wouldn't you? Then why did you even ask? I went for another job interview today. In the past few days, I must have interviewed at seven or eight companies. Do you know what they said about me? They said, with my appearance, forget about sales. I could apply for security or something. They're right. You know, you've been like an ostrich for so many years, always burying your head in the sand. It's time for the storms to give you a good workout. I'm not exactly scared, but you say this workout might just kill me. Well, look at that. Zhang Hai, who hasn't ventured out in years, is now job hunting. Come on, let's celebrate. Cheers. To me. Finding a job soon. Ah! To me. Happy unemployment? What did you say? You, you... You lost your job? What's the matter? Here's a chance for you to support me. Aren't you thrilled? But I haven't found a job either. If you were unemployed, then... Wait, are you pissing someone off? Or you did something wrong? Why are you so talkative? Why ask so many questions? It's as if you can solve my problems. I... Where's Lin Shuang? Can she help you? Aren't you two close friends? Are we close friends? She and I. We're two totally different people. Maybe all of this was just my wishful thinking. As long as you're happy. Lin Shuang. About that thing earlier. Thank you. Dad, that 250,000 RMB, I was plan on investing in financial products. Lin Shuang, don't worry. Once we have the money, we'll pay you back immediately and add a little bank interest on top. Also, please don't tell Ming Ming about this. Remember, okay? What about the remaining 250,000 RMB? I'll find a way. By the way, Dad, which stocks did you buy? I have a friend. He works on stock analysis. He could help you out. No. <laughs> Your dad? He just acts on whims. Made some blind picks and bought a bunch. If he were clear-headed, would he let that debt collector come to our house? I just wanted to remind you, there's something off with your way of thinking. They took advantage of the fact that you hold yourself high and always want to do the right thing. So they staged this whole charade just to make you hand over the money. This quarter's performance numbers, they're really not great. We're 30% below our original plan. The product performance isn't up to par, mainly in terms of upgrades. And for upgrades, you need cutting-edge algorithms. In the tech domain, I'm just not up to the task. Algorithms? That's indeed Ark's weakness. 
even though it's on the tech department. Do you think the board will listen to your explanation? Mr. Wei, Mr. Ling. Come on, Wei Ming. Share with us, what's your solution? There is one. It really depends if we want to use it. Have you heard of Pan Shi's OP-1 technology? Of course. This technology is top tier in the industry. What's up? You're thinking of buying technology from Pan Shi? We're known for our products, and Pan Shi's technology is the best in the business. What we lack, we can resolve with money, as they say when the strong unite. To be honest with you, I've had the same idea before. I had my assistant reach out to them privately, but their offer price is too expensive for us. Everyone is thinking of their own interests, so we won't form such a partnership so quickly. If you're really interested, why don't you approach Pan Shi? If we can truly collaborate, it would be significant not just for Pan Shi and ARC, but for the entire internet industry. Understood. I'll make it a priority. Wei Ming, since Feng Kai left, you're pretty much the only internal candidate for VP. Considering external candidates, it's not out of the question. I've even heard some rumors and whispers. But to be honest, I don't care about the authenticity of these stories. I value individual capability. As long as you can benefit the company, nothing else matters to me. Mr. Ling, I'll do my best and strive to make this collaboration happen. That new assistant of yours, why hasn't she come to work? Wasn't she supposed to report today? Haven't seen her. She's a hot potato. Handle with care. Really? I've trained in the iron palm technique. I won't get burned. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ling. Hello, Mr. Ling. This is our conference room, and over here are our colleagues from the product department. Everyone, pause your work for a moment. I'd like to introduce our new colleague. My name is Wang Jiayi, English name Joyce. I graduated from Wharton Business School and worked at Gaosheng for a year. ARC is my first job in China. Let's welcome our new colleague. Jiayi, uh, you know, it, you're really our company's beauty representative. Acknowledged facts don't need repetition. Today's my first day, and I'm deeply impressed by the passive attitude of the product department's team. From now on, let's keep an eye on each other, maintain office discipline, and please update the performance data and share it with me immediately. But we usually update data on Fridays. I prefer to stay ahead with everything. Then everyone, go update it now. Jiayi, let me take you to report to Mr. Wei. This way. All right. Come in. Mr. Wei? The new colleague is here. Hello, Mr. Wei. I'm Huang Jiayi. Hello? Why is this fresh graduate so arrogant? She's arrogant. She acted like she didn't need compliment. Yeah. Keep it down. Let me tell you, when I brought her up earlier, I glanced at her resume. Her dad is our major shareholder, Chairman Huang. <coughs> <coughs> Who? Chairman Huang? Have you read my profile? Yes, it's impressive. Would you like some tea? I have Longjing tea. Sorry, I only drink coffee. First day on the job. Not quite used to it, huh? People always adapt to the environment, not the other way around. Now that I'm here, I'll give it my best. You can rest assured. Although your job needs to coordinate with me, to be honest, I didn't have much say in the decision. It was the board's call. My abilities can definitely match this role. You can trust the arrangement. That's good to hear. I've always been opposed to nepotism. In our department, no one gets special treatment. After the three-month probation, if you're deemed unsuitable, for the product team, be prepared to be transferred elsewhere earlier. Discussing matters. Three months down the line is premature. If there's nothing else, I'll get back to work. All right. Have a smooth day at work. Thank you. This is acceptable. <laughs> you two, 
The 250,000 RMB from yesterday was something my daughter-in-law managed to squeeze out, gritting her teeth. So you see... That's right! After you got the money yesterday, you said you'd wait another two days. We changed our minds. Uh. You said my dad owes money. But do you have any bank transfer records? Do you have an IOU? Dad, Mom, we need to ask them for evidence. Given their behavior, if it's 50 RMB today, it'll be 100 RMB tomorrow. They can go back on their words any time. Then we won't be able to clarify things. The IOU will be returned to you when you paid the debt. As for how much is owed, your father must know. Right, hurry up and repay. Otherwise, every additional minute we stay here will be a minute you regret. Go make some tea. <laughs> That's hitting someone. <laughs> Lin Shuang, why don't you just cover the remaining 250,000 RMB for your dad all at once? Otherwise, I fear that by evening, when Ming Ming gets back from work, it'll escalate to a life-threatening situation. Right. You might as well go all the way with your kindness. Help your father out and pay the money back. I don't have the money. If you want to make a scene, go ahead. You... What are you even saying? Lin Shuang, I beg you, please. I beg you. Or should I kneel for you? Let me kneel for you. Come, sit here. Just sit down, okay? Lin Shuang... If you don't bring out that money today, we are definitely won't make it through. Oh, 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 oh. Dad, wait to cry later, okay? <laughs> Officer, here. What's the matter with you two? Nothing, everything is fine. Charging exorbitant interest rates, damaging others' property. You both understand, right? You are potentially illegal. Come on, follow me to the station. <laughs> Officer, no need to go to the station. Really? This isn't something good, right? Dad, just go with them. Look, they've become violent. What if they hurt you later? How will I explain to Wei Ming? You two, hurry up! Officer, we've been wronged! We just came to help! Help with what? Help with assaulting people? Sit down. Actually, I am the nephew from Wei Guoqiang's second cousin's family. Nonsense! Officer, I'm just a security guard at the factory gate. I just look like I'm involved in loan sharking. His daughter-in-law has money and won't let him spend it, so he asked me to help. When did he say that? Clarify. Be clear about when he said that. When and where? Right in front of the police. Be clear. Speak up! Enough, enough. Stop arguing. What are you two doing? Putting on a comedy routine? Sit down. So you two have been putting on a show all along? Wei Guoqiang, is that how it was? No. Uncle, you must help out here. We are at the police station now, right? You can't lie with your eyes open. I might end up in jail. He is. I hired him to pretend to be a loan shark. But I figured after all, it's our family's money, right? Dad, if you're really short of money, you could have told me. Why go around in such a big circle? Wei Guoqiang, Zhang Jinfeng. It's because of your absurd actions, privately taking up social resources. If your actions cause a negative impact on society, you can be detained for disturbing public order. You understand? <laughs> Officer, it's all just a misunderstanding. Huge misunderstanding. Mom, since it was a misunderstanding, the money you transferred yesterday should be returned to me. This matter is a private family issue. As a family, communicate peacefully. If the family dispute can't be resolved, we can schedule a time to meet at our community police office for mediation. No, it's easily resolved. Yes. We don't want to come here again. Transfer the money. Transfer the money. You want to come back again? Hurry up.
Dad, Mom, I want a divorce. The days ahead might be tough, but even if it's just me alone, I'm not afraid. Kid, actually, even without yesterday's incident, your dad and I are aware of your situation. Yes, since you were young, you've always been a sensible and strong-willed child from school to work and marriage, you've always made your own decisions. This time making such a big decision, I believe you must have thought it through. The hardships you faced over the years, even though you never talked about it, your dad and I saw it all. We raised you. No one knows their child better than the parents. In the past couple of years, I was hospitalized and spent some money. So now, this is all I can give you. Mom, I can't take this money. This is for you and Dad's retirement. Listen to me. We have our pensions, and we're both in good health. We really don't have many expenses. How about this? You take it now, and in a few years when you're better off, you can pay us back. Your mom and I can't do much more for you. This is all we can help with. Actually, there's nothing wrong with getting a divorce. A failed marriage doesn't mean a failed life. Let others say what they want. This is your life. You don't live it for others, right? Don't carry any mental burdens. But there's one thing you didn't do well, and I have to criticize you for it. If you had made up your mind, why didn't you tell us sooner? We aren't afraid of you getting a divorce. We're afraid of you living life in a haze, afraid of you being mistreated, suffering, afraid that as you go on, you'll lose yourself. Kid, remember this. No matter how hard things get in life or how tough the situation, always protect yourself first. The most important thing is to love yourself first. Remember this. You're not alone. You have a mom and dad who love you, and you have Guogo too. Having complete love is more important than a complete home. Honey. Honey. I am here. I heard about what happened with mom and dad. It was a misunderstanding. It's not something that can be explained away with a misunderstanding. They came to my office today and explained everything to me. They were wrong in this situation. Look, they even bought you some donkey hide gelatin. Mom and dad are getting old. Give them a break. I turned in the money, didn't I? I even helped your friend hit her target. Let's put this behind us. We're all family. We only have one child at home. Isn't the grandparents' money going to be hers in the end? If it's all the same, why go through all this trouble? Playing these games? What do you mean, playing games? It sounds worse. I'm always busy working. I come home and deal with this petty money issue with you. When did you start caring so much about money? Let's close this chapter. Let's not bring it up again. What's most important for our family? It's my promotion to VP. If I don't get promoted, it's the biggest loss. The closer you get to becoming a vice president, the bigger your temper gets. Now you don't even want to make up a white lie to comfort me. What do you mean, making up stories? Who's in charge of this? First you're saying Zhang Sun, then it's Li Si. Going back and forth, it's all wasted effort and time. Michelle, there's an issue with the core data. Who's in charge of content operations? It's me. Oh. It's you, huh? Then get on it and sort it out. The boss needs to see the data by 5 o'clock. Why are you still standing there? Get to work! What? You've been coordinating for three months, and you can't figure out... 
when a lead turns into a business opportunity. Even the numbers don't match. I wonder how you're going to finish your job. You should not visit, client. I'll go. Is this the standard of Arctech? If this was at Gaosheng, he would have been fired. How can he even meet with the client? I can't comment on the competence of our colleagues, but with your arrogant attitude, are you really suited to meet clients? Which department are you from? I'm Zhang Shi from the Strategy Innovation Department. You don't have to bother. I'll be resigning in a few days. Excuse me, I need to get by. Also, I wanted to remind you, look at you, you really shouldn't be meeting clients. See you at the gym at noon. All right, spread your legs apart. Then lift our right leg. Grab the right foot with your right hand. Raise the left hand toward the ceiling. Your eyes can look forward. Feel our bodies. Let the body relax. As you exhale, slowly lower the foot and hand down. Now bend our right knee. Place it on the inside of the left thigh. Raise both hands up towards the ceiling. Eyes looking straight ahead. Similarly, hold it here for three breaths. Let the body relax. As you exhale, slowly lower the hands down and return the right foot to its original position. All right, that concludes our class. Thank you. Stretch out a bit. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Honey, I have to go, bye. You continue practicing. Lin. How have you been doing lately? I've had several job interviews, but no luck yet. However, I've started taking extra classes. I believe I'll have no problem. Interviewing for an entry-level position next time. From my many years of experience handling cases, most women in dependent marriages are afraid of divorce. They're afraid of what people will say, afraid of losing their financial support, afraid that divorce will harm the children. Even if they really start divorce proceedings, they often choose to reconcile and withdraw the lawsuit. Out of fear, most will choose to endure and compromise for a lifetime. Attorney C, I'm not afraid. Right now is my lowest point, but every day from here on out, I will be on the rise. You might look delicate and gentle, but I didn't expect you to have such a strong backbone. In this divorce case, I'm the disadvantaged party, but I believe I'll win. Moreover, I want to win with dignity.